good morning. It's a beautiful, bright morning. Sort of uh, a little chilly. Minus two, I think. But other than that, really nice. Really, really nice. The sunshine makes all the difference. Today is the day of the graduation ceremony. So tonight or later this afternoon, quarter to five, I'm going to um, meet the rest of the uh, teachers that are involved in the graduation ceremony at a local restaurant and we're going to have a dinner prior <clears throat> to getting out and uh, helping the mainly kids but students graduate. One, at least one of my students is going to be graduating. Two of my students Yes, we're graduating. At least. So, uh, that's fine, I'll be there. The restaurant, um, last year it was a little uh, cheaper. This year it's gone a little more upscale. Um, but I checked out the menu online. So, um, So I checked out the menu and I've got a few things picked out. It wasn't terribly tasty last year, so now it looks like it's gone a bit more upscale and um, maybe the food will be better. I didn't much like it last year. So more money, hopefully more taste. It's called the Kiwi. Great morning, crisp morning, bright morning. I think we can tone down the air there. Yeah. So I uh, communicated with my daughter this morning and got an instant response. Wow, that's great. I thought, if that's how you do it, talk to her in the morning, that's great. So I said, you know, you really should check in on your grandparents. You know, they sort of have a feeling, you know, they're not going to be seen by their grandchildren anymore, and they're feeling really sorry for themselves, and you know, so on and so forth. And she said, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we just have to figure out a time where we can do it. And I said, well, I answered back. You know, let's try and keep them in the loop because they're just sitting there thinking they have grandchildren who don't want to see them. So uh, I heard my iPhone, I heard my phone get an email, so obviously she has responded to me. This is amazing, my daughter responding to me. She is usually very slow to communicate, so this is great. Let's see what she has to say. arrived before I left. I didn't, I didn't want to take time to check it. I knew it was going to be her. So I'll check when I get to school. How is it where you are? It's illegal here in Ontario to use a cell phone while dri driving. Um, yeah. A 
lots of people do. <laughs> it doesn't stop most people. But it stops me because I really notice the difference and I really notice how stupid it is. And I remember way back, I was on the 401 driving to Mississauga and, you know, being on the cell phone and realizing that I was not going 120, that I was going 100 all of a sudden. And, uh, you know, how little attention, how, how little you can split your attention. Multitasking, you think you're multitasking? You were just prioritizing and you're probably uh, putting your priority on your conversation rather than your driving. So do not talk on the phone while you're driving. It's a really bad idea. See the, this is the center for mental health right there. That's where that guy was. So I have to go out for dinner tonight, and then I have to spend a few hours at City Hall for the ceremony, standing, handing out brochures and pamphlets. Fun wow. Whatever. I like to make sure that I in my shoes. That's basically it. Try and find something to wear where those comfortable shoes will look good while I will still look fancy enough to be at a graduation ceremony. Mm. Yeah. I just don't want to wreck my feet. Is my boss here? Is my boss here? I don't see her. Jerk. I got you on camera, sweetie. Okay, so we'll see how the day turns out.